everyone, this is Chris Marty, known in these parts as the Rebate Guy, and here we are doing a New Braunfels lifestyle living. For those of you who have followed our page, you know that we love New Braunfels, we love being local, and today we're gonna to be talking about all things Worst Fest. So for those of you who don't know, Worst Fest is a huge festival. It's pretty much the pride and joy of New Braunfels, first week of November every year, and it takes place in this great festival grounds behind me. Before we go in, jumping in a little bit to the history of how this festival came to be. Back in 1961, New Braunfels had a city meat inspector who actually would go through all the production that we had of sausage and different German inspired meats that were here in town. And so he decided to create this festival, Worst Fest, in 1961 to celebrate all things sausage. And so for the first five years, it was downtown is where the festival took place. Every night there was different events and things that were scheduled during Worst Week. And then in 1967, just five, six years after that festival, after the initial 1961 starting, we moved here to these grounds where we are still today. So we're super excited to be here today. We're we'll taking you through to talk about all things Worst Fest, what it means to the city of the Braunfels and what fun things are to do here. So one of the newer additions in mo the more recent years is this big building behind me. On the first floor, which we're gonna cover in a second, is the Market Plots. It's really cool, a lot of local vendors and shops that set up here every year to sell different goods and different things. And the upstairs was a cool addition because for many, many years, most of Worst Fest was outside and takes place again first week of November. So we've been having some cold temperatures and it can get pretty chilly until you start drinking at night at which you'd warm up. So this was a really cool addition because it's an indoor whole building. They've got some tables in there for you to sit. They've got live music in there where you can eat, drink uh, and celebrate all things Worst Fest. So one of the really cool additions they added in the last couple of years is this building right behind me. Okay guys, so here's the first floor of the Market Plots Plaza. As we mentioned, one of the more recent additions in the recent years. And behind me is gonna be all sorts of local vendors and shops selling all sorts of local goods. So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna check out what goods they have this year and what we can get ourselves into. So it's really cool about this festival ground. Like one of the many buildings you'll see behind me is that this was actually an old power plant that was here in the city of New Braunfels. So a lot of the old buildings are still intact and they are the Worst Fest grounds. All right, so we are on the lower level lot of Worst Fest now, just outside the Market Plaza. And then right behind me is one of the many stages. Worst Fest is all about eating, drinking, and watching live music. Of course, polka is one of the most popular genres that they play out here, and it is super, super authentic. So behind me, you got one of the early bands going, and they're crushing it right now. So again, if you want to come out here, just eat, drink, relax, and listen to some live music, we got you here on the Lobo Level Plaza. All right, y'all, this is one of the Worst Fest staples. Pork chop on a stick, right behind me, New Balpo's Little League. If you come here, you have to get one of these. So many good foods here in Food Row. Both sides, the inside and the middle section, have lots of different vendors from a lot of the local organizations here in town serving great food. And the pork shop on a stick is one that you cannot miss. All right, so behind me is the Little Tent, one of the other outdoor music venues. So again, not as big as the Big Tent, thus the Little Tent, but it's really cool. They've got a full pack day here, back-to-back -back bands, lots of live music, really, really awesome. And what's cool about the Little Tent is it's actually back by the back entrance. So right behind me is the back entrance to Worst Fest. If you ever want to come in, a little bit less of a line, less crowded, back entrance is really convenient. You have all the food right here as well from the food alley that they have. They kind of rebuilt the Showcase Plaza. And so you're right here next to all of that with the little tent. All right, guys, so behind me is the original Worst Hall. As I mentioned, when Worst first started in 1961, the events all took place downtown. Then five years later, 1967, they actually opened, or six years later, 1967, they actually opened this Worst Hall behind me. What you'll find inside today is a massive stage with some of the largest bands that will come and play at Worst Fest. And on the walls inside the building are actually a lot of the family crests of the original founding fathers and founding families of the New Braunfels area. Definitely don't miss the stop to Worst Hall. They also have some bars in there as well, so you should get some drinks while you're hanging out. Don't miss it. All right, so behind me is the Big Ten. And the Big Ten is the main attraction of Worst Fest. It's basically in the center of the festival grounds. And this is where all the party action is at, especially on a Friday and Saturday night. So behind me, you want to typically get a spot at the Big Ten as early as you can and camp out there. This is where all the major acts are going to play throughout the day. And it's where, again, the center of all the action. So besides getting a table, one of the big things you'll see at Worst Fest is the pitches that I'm holding. And it's a Worst Fest tradition, especially on the weekends, to stack up as many pitchers as you can. So the idea is essentially, you know, buy a pitcher, drink it by yourself, with your friends, with your fam. And when it's empty, you stack it. You keep stacking, you keep stacking, you keep stacking. And on the nights, again, Friday, Saturday nights, by the end of the night, you'll see people rocking six, seven, eight, ten pitchers deep. And that's how you know that they had their best, the Braunfels Worst Fest time. 
All right, guys, right behind me is the final session we're gonna be covering today here at Worst Fest, which is the Kinder Hall. And what's cool about it is every year they bring in kind of the local carnival slash fair. Well, here's the section where they have the rides. And so the rides are all behind me. They have this cool section that kind of borders the Land of Park area where all the kid rides are. And then the kids have their own little hall, the Kinder Hall, with crafts, activities, shops, and more. So again, Worst Fest, guys, is for all ages. You can't miss out here no matter how old you are. Definitely have a good time. All right, y'all, so this has been your preview of Worst Fest 2023. They only make this festival better and better every single year. So if you didn't make it out this year, definitely check out 2024 and the years beyond. It's always the first week of November, that first Friday and Saturday into the second Friday and Saturday. If you're looking to move to New Braunfels, get a great deal on anything real estate related. Check out our other videos on some of the amazing properties that are here in town. And always like and subscribe for more content about New Braunfels living.